Okay, folks, uh, this is just a little video of some experimentation I have been doing in the last few days uh, to actually port uh, RISE into the Sugar Lab experience. I have faced some issues um, along the way, but at the same time, I have some fun um, and I will show you some of the issues uh, and some of the nice things. So essentially, the main idea uh, to convert the notebook in a, in a reveal GS-based uh, uh, live slideshow um, is the same here. Um, I will open a notebook, and if you can see here, there is a rise menu, and I can convert this notebook into a rise slideshow. As always, this is just very basic stuff, uh, only supporting uh, linear, I mean, horizontal slides, not to the slides, nothing, nothing fancy, just a, a tiny prototype, but it is actually working. As you can see, I can modify the stuff here uh, without any issue and execute as a notebook and uh, Run this as a slideshow. Okay, this seems to work. Uh, actually, works, but uh, the problem comes when I actually uh, try to close this. Uh, let me say, and if I try to start again the slideshow, things are not working, uh, and that is essentially because. Uh, there are several things happening when Reveal GS is initialized. Um, so uh, Reveal GS is pretty intrusive at the time to manipulate the DOM, and it is actually uh, adding some stuff. And previously in the legacy Jupyter notebook. Um, we were able to actually, after finishing the slideshow, to actually hide some of that stuff and keep the reveal object there. So when you go again into presentation mode, you can load things uh, as expected. In this case, when I am actually uh, closing the notebook here, uh, I, I am actually missing some reveal inserted objects uh, and the reference to the uh, reveal object. So that is actually preventing the slideshow to, to, to show again. Um, let me see if I can show you something like this here, but this here is a notebook, uh, notebook panel and I play applying um, cl classes uh, here, the reveal class and then you have some slide class and after that you have some sections and as you can see here the sections are, are created or recreated as expected but uh, because of uh, some missing uh, uh, stuff when you actually close this uh, and th th this is essentially uh, a consequence of the different layout that Jupyter Lab has. Um, so I actually tried to go a little bit higher and put some of the reveal stuff into the Docker, oh, sorry, not Docker, into the doc panel that is uh, encompassing the notebook panel, uh, but that is not working. Uh, that is actually make the uh, slideshow not executable. Um, so we actually have most probably two options. Uh, the first one is actually, I am working with the same Reveal GS uh, library version that we are shipping with uh, the standard RISE extension, which is uh, 392. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, I have recently saw that Reveal GS 4 is actually providing multi presentation support uh, in terms that you can actually load. Uh, several uh, decks in the same page. So that, that may be a solution here. Um, so I, I need to try that 
that is one idea. Um, the other idea will probably be something like uh, trying some other um, uh, slideshow framework. Um, I always want to play with uh, Impress CS because you can do fancy stuff. Uh, and as far as I know, it's not doing all that dumb manipulation that Reader.js is doing. So that that is, that is a more drastic uh, approach, but could be a, a, a solution if I cannot come up with a solution using Reveal 4. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that the concept is really interesting in going forward. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just uh, reload this. Um, as you can see here, I, I can ca I can call the vice for the menu. I can use the the um, panel here. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so you can you have the option uh, there as well, and I, I, I can do some other fun fancy or, uh, and most probably useful thing going forward at the time to design in the, your slideshows because um, you can actually trigger some sort of dual mode or something like that uh, where you can actually see the slideshow in one, in one side and the, the, the plain notebook in the other um, and essentially if you modify stuff there it is actually uh, uh, <laughs> you are actually working with the same model under the hood so both things are actually seen. Um, there will be most probably issues at the time to uh, try to um, change from a slide into some so super slide, I mean, uh, or something like that. Uh, that could be potentially a little bit difficult, uh, but it's something probably fun to do uh, and potentially pretty, pretty useful because you can know yeah, you can now uh, design your slide on real time. Um, and that is fun, I, I think. But yeah, pretty much that that's all uh, I wanted to share with you. Um, I, I need to try um, that reveal GES4 and see if that works. Uh, and if not, uh, maybe we need to do something else. Um, but yeah, let's see how things uh, play out in the next uh, few weeks. Okay, bye folks.